Taylor, I'm going to start with you. Uh, how are women different in these clubs? I think the women are different because whenever they come to a show like that, they want to come to see a show, not necessarily just to see a naked girl on stage. They want to be entertained, you know. It's, uh, it's a little more to them. Uh, and, James, is that why you guys have to have a job? Is that, in other words, you guys have to come out with, a, you know, as a fireman or a policeman or a construction worker. You have to have a job to keep them entertaining? Uh, well, it's, uh, we think uh, what we've learned over the years is for women, it's more about the fantasy and creating that fantasy. And, yeah, you know, sometimes that takes the form of, you know, you know being, you know, swept off your feet by a fireman or an officer or even a vampire. But, yeah, you know, we, we create that for them, and that, that seems to be, you know, what keeps them entertained. But, uh, you know, uh, yeah, there's, there's a lot that goes into it, I think. All these years of working with Adam Carolla on Loveline, he always said, yeah, the guys have to have a job. And... When the female stripper comes out, that's her job, stripper. She, that, that's what the guys want her to be, a stripper. Let's take a call. Portia oh. in Atlanta. Portia? Hey, Dr. Drew. Hey, I went to the Chip and Dale show last week in Las Vegas, and I have to say it was amazing. I've been to strip clubs before with male dancers, well, and they you. were totally gross. But the Chippendales were amazing. Okay, I Portia, was totally so Portia, tomorrow. hold on now. Yes. You say you've been before and it was totally gross. A, what do you mean by that? And B, why'd you go back then for more? Well, my girlfriends, you know, they kind of peer pressure me to go again. So, you know, I gave them a peer pressure. But in the past, I've gone and the guys have, like, just ripped it off. It wasn't a show. They just got, you know, butt naked and just, like, tried to put their thing on me and it was just not it was not attractive I okay was okay out. now see that's the part now now as those of us as uh husbands and boyfriends out there uh, when they hear about male prostitutes as portia said putting their thing on her what really goes on there you know when when men go to women's strip clubs there's often no touching is there more touching of the male stripper um yeah a little more um like whenever uh whenever we put on our show it is kind of the club that I work out. It's more of a Las Vegas style show that we put on. There's fire shows. There's a Cirque du Soleil type. Well, but that shows. isn't more touching. So, you know, because we're hearing this. We just yeah. heard a, a caller, a Porsche. I think you're still there. Well, say that there, the guy was putting his. Uh, what do you say, Porsche? His his junk. Yeah. His thing. His thing. That, his would, thing. that would not happen at a Chippendales show. Okay, that we're would not. Yeah, stage yeah. The whole our, time, our, so. No, nah, Chippendale's yeah, definitely the not. The club that we no. work at. <laughs> right, now, gentlemen, the other thing yeah. that uh, I just talked to uh, a fellow last night who'd interviewed a series of male strippers, and I believe it was the Thunder from Down Under guys, in fact, and they said that women are having sex with strippers on a regular basis or, or some kind of explicit sexual contact. Is that so? I, I've heard that from male strippers a lot. How does that happen? What is that all about? No, that really doesn't happen Honestly, as much as, far as, as, uh, as most people think. I don't think so either. <laughs> I think that's like a popular kind of like, you know, like like stereotype that's like gets affiliated with like, you know, male review and male dancers. But I don't think it's always necessarily true. And it certainly isn't true where I work. I don't think. OK, yeah. let's talk to another caller. Uh, our club is geared more towards bachelorette and birthday parties. So they're not really looking to come out and, yeah. and have sex with the guys. They just want to see a show. Michelle in Arizona. Michelle. Yes. Hi, James. I went to your show a few months ago also, and you definitely played into my fantasies, uh, even ones I didn't know I had. So, uh, <laughs> well, thank you. Amazing. <laughs> um, I, do, I do have a no, question, awesome. though. Um, and I, you know, I just yes. heard rumors that maybe you guys sleep with some women, but a lot of you were just too good looking to be straight. So my question is, are most of the guys that are dancing up there gay? Uh, again, this is just another common like kind of uh, misconception about male review in general, not just Chippendales. I think it's across the board. They're like, oh, these guys are well maintained. They take care of their bodies. You know, they care about their appearance. Oh, they must be gay. But honestly, again, it just isn't always true, and it certainly isn't true with us. Not that's that's not to say we have anything against you know, uh, you know. People who are, you know, of a different sex sexual orientation dancing, you know, in a re male review, it just, you know, that just doesn't happen to be the case most of the time. I mean, if you're dancing for, uh, you know, uh, hundreds of women every night, you got to have some interest in women. You know, that's just the way it is, I think. So is, is the, the, when Portia was asking you questions and she talked about the more, what does she call it? Was it how does she describe the strip clubs that were, the, she was, it was disgusting or something for her. It was more gross. Are those the ones where either sort of less uh, branded kinds of operations where that kind of explicit stuff is going on, do you guys think? I think mostly that's uh, more of like road shows where 
it'll be a club and they'll make it a male strip club like once a month. So they don't have the professional entertainers that, that the big companies have. I see. So it's the it's the more rogue opportunities where people are engaging in these yeah. kinds of behaviors. Because I've heard a million. Yeah, I've heard fly by night. Sure. Strippers. I've heard a ton of stories that actually yes. and, the, and the men actually end up being very disturbed by the women's behavior. Do you guys get disturbed by the way they treat you? Um, I, you know, I I, uh, I like the job. You know, I like how women. You know, they're having a good time. They're screaming. Uh, at the end of the day, you know, I choose to work there. So, you know, I don't feel objectified or anything. James. Yeah, yeah, same here. I feel like uh, the women are very respectful. They really, like, enjoy the show, and they enjoy themselves in, you know, a, a respectful way. I don't feel like, you know, like I'm groped or anything like that. You know, it's, it's yeah, it's they have a good time, and, you know, they, they're there to see a show, you know. And, yeah, you know, I feel, I feel, you know, not objectified in that respect. All right.